from exoplanets to supermassive black holes to the first stars and galaxies, James Webb is showing us the universe as we've never seen it before. It has transformed humanity's view of the cosmos, peering into dust clouds and seeing light from faraway corners of the universe for the very first time. But while James Webb continues to provide answers about the earliest days of the universe, it's also discovering more questions. This state-of-the-art time machine just detected mysterious primordial galaxies that threaten to break cosmology. Join us as we dig deep into James Webb's new shocking discoveries that will break your brain. The universe is 13.8 billion years old, the oldest light ever observed was seen by NASA's Cosmic Background Explorer mission, or COBE, launched in 1989. COBE measured the cosmic microwave background, the faint relic radiation filling all of space created just a few thousand years after the Big Bang. James Webb is designed to explore a subsequent epoch in which the universe was roughly 100 million years old. During this time, the first stars and galaxies formed, and researchers expect that James Webb will be able to study the earliest galaxies and supernova produced by the universe's first stars. Its large aperture and infrared capability enable astronomers to explore for the first time this period of galaxy formation. These data will help astronomers determine which of their theoretical models of how the universe evolved is correct. Most recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has just discovered that nearly all of the universe's earliest galaxies were filled with dazzling gas clouds that blazed brighter than the emerging stars within them. And it could help solve a mystery that threatens to break cosmology. Forming as early as 500 million years after the Big Bang, some early galaxies have been seen glowing so brightly that they shouldn't exist. Brightnesses of their magnitude should come only from massive galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way, yet the galaxies took shape in a fraction of the time our galaxy took to form. The discovery threatened to upend physicists' understanding of galaxy formation and even the standard model of cosmology. However, when James Webb came online, it saw far too many stars like this. As a result, James Webb just made the crisis in cosmology worse. But while threatening the reigning cosmological model, James Webb also tries to solve the most puzzle about the universe. Based on data obtained by James Webb, astronomers have found a possible answer, a large group of 12 billion-year-old galaxies, almost 90% of which were wreathed in bright gas that, after being ignited by light from the surrounding stars, triggered intense bursts of star formation. The explosion of star formation triggered by the interactions could also explain the more massive nature of early galaxies. Astronomers discovered the bright gas clouds in data collected as part of Webb's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, which used three of the telescope's instruments to collect infrared images of galaxies before analyzing their spectra. By peering at the frequencies of light the galaxies emitted, the researchers discovered spikes of extreme emission features, a clear sign that the gas was capturing light from nearby stars before re-emitting it. Gas cannot emit light on its own, but the young massive stars emit just the right type of radiation to excite the gas, and the early galaxies have lots of young stars. After comparing this emission spectrum with those found in newer galaxies populating today's universe, the researchers found that around 1% had similar features. The researchers said that by studying these pound galaxies, which are easier to measure, they will gain important insight into the earlier galaxies and the beginnings of the universe's chemistry. The chemical elements that make up everything tangible on Earth and the universe, except hydrogen and helium, originated in the cores of distant stars. So, it is critical to understand the conditions surrounding galaxies and stars in the early universe for us to better understand our own world today. With this stunning finding, the $101 billion time machine is living up to its billing to tell the story of our origins in the universe's distant past. But as we said previously, James Webb could answer questions we once could never dream of, but its discoveries also open up new questions of their own spiraling into endless possibilities. And in a recent unimaginable observation, James Webb just discovered the most distant example of a galaxy in the universe that looks like our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Notably, the unexpected presence of the most distant Milky Way galaxy doppelganger poses a challenge to existing theoretical models, hinting at potential gaps in our understanding of the physical processes driving galactic formation during the early epochs of the universe when the universe was just 2 billion years old. The newfound spiral galaxy, Cis 2112, appears to have featured a bar of stars and gas cutting across its heart, like a slash across a, no smoking, sign. The Milky Way, also a spiral galaxy, sports a similar bar. 
scientists suspect the Milky Way's bar rotates cylindrically, funneling gas into the galaxy's center and sparking bursts of star formation. Astronomers previously thought this galactic structure marks the end of a galaxy's formative years, so it was expected to be seen only in old galaxies that may have reached full maturity, perhaps those that existed halfway through the evolution of the universe. Indeed, the Hubble Space Telescope's past observations of galaxy morphologies have shown the early universe hosted very few barred galaxies. However, the new findings gleaned from data by the James Webb Space Telescope conclude it may not necessarily be true that barred spirals must have roamed the universe for so long. The discovery of spiral galaxy Sears 2112 reveals galaxies that resemble our own already existed 11.7 billion years ago when the universe had just 15% of its life. James Webb can collect six times more light than Hubble, allowing for more detailed features of faraway galaxies to come into view. Sears 2112 is observed at a redshift of three when the universe was 2,100 million years old. Essentially, this means the light from the galaxy took 11.7 billion years to reach the web. This is a surprising find as the galactic bars are seen in roughly two-thirds of all spiral galaxies, but bars are thought to have manifested about 4 billion years into the birth of the universe. Studying detailed morphologies of faraway galaxies is essential to understand their history, opening the door to new scenarios about galaxy formation and evolution. Study co-author Cristina Cabello, who is a researcher at the Institute of De Physica de Particulas y Cosmos in Madrid, said in a statement, for instance, the presence of the bar in Sears 2112 challenges current theoretical models that predict the early universe's physical conditions must have prevented the formation of barred galaxies in general. As Constantine said, theoretical predictions from cosmological simulations really struggle to reproduce such systems at those epochs. We now need to understand which key physical ingredient is missing in our models if something is missing. Further studies like these are also shaping our understanding of the role dark matter played in the early universe. Astronomers think 85% of all matter in the universe is dark matter, a mysterious substance elusive to telescopic observations because it doesn't interact with light at all. Dark matter is thought to have radically influenced galaxy evolution and star formation from as early as 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Findings from the new study, however, pose new challenges and opportunities for refining our the understanding study of, galaxy of the cosmos. evolution, particularly in the case of Sears 2112, reveals intriguing insights into the dominance of ordinary matter over dark matter during a critical phase of the universe's development. At approximately 2 billion years old, Sears 2112's morphology indicates a significant presence of normal matter within its galactic bar, overshadowing the influence of dark matter. This discovery, as articulated by study co-author Gyroscope Abrao from the University of La Laguna, underscores the pivotal role of ordinary matter, or baryons, in shaping the evolutionary trajectory of galaxies. Despite the prevalent abundance of dark matter during the universe's early stages, Sears 2112's evolution was primarily driven by the matter composing our familiar world. The advent of James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our comprehension of the early universe, promising further revelations in the coming years. Looking ahead, there are plans to leverage its capabilities to delve into the intricate structures of the universe's inaugural galaxies. Furthermore, astronomers were treated to a spectacular view of the cosmos with James Webb's detection of the vibrant Christmas tree galaxy cluster adorned with 14 new transient objects akin to flickering Christmas lights. Dubbed Max 0416, this distant cluster, located approximately 4.3 billion light-years away, captivated researchers with its celestial spectacle. Meanwhile, researchers studying the Jovian moon Ganymede uncovered striking evidence of strike-slip faults akin to seismic features observed on Earth's surface. These faults, generated by the gravitational interactions between Ganymede and Jupiter, hold significant implications for the moon's geological processes and potential habitability. Elsewhere, efforts to unravel the mysteries of Venus's atmosphere led scientists to utilize the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA, to gather crucial data. Their observations unveiled the complex dynamics of Venus's atmospheric currents and the presence of atomic oxygen, shedding light on the planet's atmospheric chemistry. By examining both the day and night sides of Venus, researchers gain valuable insights into its unique atmospheric composition and slow rotational dynamics which have been shaped by gravitational interactions with the Sun. 
In essence, these scientific endeavors underscore the profound intricacies of cosmic evolution and the diverse phenomena that shape celestial bodies across the universe. As we continue to explore and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, each discovery enriches our understanding of the universe's past, present, and potential futures. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.